fluke. <gasps> so it's back. My magic is back. Really? Huh? How? 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 Watch this. <laughs> It's a good thing I put all those skills into white magic. Otherwise, that scene would have been completely implausible. Good anymore! Yeah, I feel a lot better. Was that magic power? Yep. How'd you do that, huh? How'd you do that? I just... did it! That doesn't make sense! Very little does. Mama will do it too! Wrong color! You? That's a heck of an attack. <laughs> Sorry. So strange. Why just shoot? I'm awesome like that. Hey, maybe we can get rid of that flesh eating tree. Let's go see. It's more than a maybe, Shu. It's a definite possibility! We may only have one of our shadows back, but you know what? I think that just might be all we need. It's more than Nene thinks anybody could have possibly had. Which means we're already a bigger threat than he could have ever possibly imagined. Alright, you stupid tree monster. You've done quite enough for one lifetime. It's time for the rematch of the century! Man versus tree! Or dragon versus tree, I suppose. Bring it on, nature! My true arch nemesis. And this time we even got Jiro, Kluke, and Marumaru up in here to help us. Granted, they're not able to do a whole lot given their current circumstances, but uh, it's an emotional support. Okay. You might think being poisoned would be quite the detriment to the battle, and you would be mostly correct. However, you must also take into consideration that this tree has the ability to paralyze a character entirely. And if you have one status ailment, you can't have two. You can only have one at a time. I'd rather have Shu slowly lose health over time than not be able to move at all, considering he's the only one of our characters who's capable of attacking in any capacity right now. So all we gotta do is use all of our other characters to make sure that Shu stays alive and everything will work out just fine. Or maybe I- oh, never mind, I was completely wrong. As it turns out, you actually can have more than one status ailment at a time. Alright, well, how dare this game use realistic, like, actual parameters. Just because you're one thing means you can't be another thing. That's just downright unfortunate. Oh, well, alright. If I- then I might as well not stick around with this stupid poison. If it's not, I mean, if it's not going to protect me from another status ailment, there's no point in this existence. Let's see, I should have at least an antidote in here. Yep, alright. Although, try not to get in too much trouble there, Shu. I don't have a whole lot of things to, to fix you up. Otherwise, we're going to have to rely on pure natural survivability, and uh, that might not work out so well. And paralyzed yet again. Fan-tastimo. Fan-bloody-tastic on a freaking bike. Okay, fine. Just got to keep throwing stuff at him and hoping for the best. All right, all right, just keep on defending, guys. Just keep on defending. Oh, this can't be good. In fact, I'm about a thousand percent positive that Kluke is dead. Yippers. That's what happens. All righty, well, that is unfortunate, but we can bring her back. We can bring her back without much problem. No problems. No problems at all. We just gotta hang tough, we just gotta survive long enough for this to work out just fine. Okay, suffer a, a moderate amount of HP for everybody! There we go, this should do just fine. Now you know why I made Shu a white mage. Because <laughs> he's gonna be the only person able to do much for quite the while. Alright, what you gonna do, you no good tree neck? Ah, he's just gonna keep stabbing me, what a jerk! Oh, but don't worry. Once I'm able to summon the mighty dragon again, oh, this will be way over before you even know it. Just gotta keep punching it right in the teeth. You'd think punching something straight in the teeth would be a terrible idea, but, uh, in this set of circumstances, it works out pretty well for us. All right, tree, what you gonna do this time? More poison, eh? Brrr! 
Bring it on, I say! Blarg! What a butt! Alright, come on, come on! Alright, Mario, just keep on defending. Ain't no ain't no sense in getting yourself needlessly knocked off. What you gonna do, tree? Alright, come on, just a quick smackity of the hand, and we should be good! One point of damage! That's the strength and valor we know of Fluke. Boy. Alright, sticky syrup! Blarg! And paralyzed, yet again! That is most definitely not the bueno that I need right now. Let's see, do I have a cure-all or anything? No, I guess I only- I used all of those already on needlessly stupid things. Fantastic! Alright, whoop, okay. Just one more quick smackity and I should be able to do this at full power again. Theoretically, possibility, possibly, we'll see. We'll figure this out together. Alright, Kluke, just defend yourself. Earth Reverberation! Shazango! Surprisingly, not that, not that good of an attack, all things considered. Ah, crud cakes. Ah, dang it. No, if I attack now, it's just gonna crap. I should have had Maru get rid of the stupid hands. All right, fine, fine, fine. Just defend, defend a little bit, defend a little bit. All right, Maru, just smack him in the hand so he's not defending himself. I need to be able to attack him at full strength. You can't be, I can't give him a single possibility of, of goodness here. All right, Kluke is definitely gonna fall over again, and that's all around bad. Okay, and Bazango, okay. Terribly sorry, Kluke. Wish things could have turned out a little bit better for you, but as is, you ain't got nothing to worry about. We got the power of the dragon! And a strength! Huzzah! And might I just say, for the record, that this is completely and totally awesome that this is a thing we can do now? Ha 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 ha! It's a lot like a limit break in Final Fantasy. If you take enough damage or deal enough damage, you're able to do this thing, and it just does untold damage to everything everywhere. Of course, now that we have this ability, the, the, the bosses in the games are now scaled up to be able to take this sort of punishment a little bit easier. This tree, however, most definitely not. This should probably take it out. If not, it'll be pretty much on its last leg, or root, as the case may be. Let's find out! That's what I thought! And that tree just had a stroke. Unfortunate. No more nom nom noms for you. Ha <laughs> ha. And all right, that takes care of that. Hopefully the town will be a little tiny bit happier now that there isn't the immediate threat of being devoured by a tree. I know that'd make me happy. <sighs> <laughs> And there we go! And wow, just getting rid of the tree alone has already made the sky clear up. Weird! Anyway, what have you got to say? You can finally leave now. In memory of the victims, we will work hard and protect our village. I have no doubt about that, good sir. Look at all the faces. They're so happy. It's like we had a festival all of a sudden. This is a bit better than a festival, but that's just my opinion. And how about you? What have you got to say? I won't forget you, or what you did back there. Ever. All in a day's work, my dear! Old lady, you were the most pessimistic of all. Truly, this is the first time I've ever seen everyone laughing like this. The first time? Wow, maybe living here wasn't that great of a... <laughs> maybe living here sucked before I even showed up. That'd be unfortunate. Let's see. Could I possibly do a quick in-trip? I'm assuming everyone is out here right now, but, uh... We're kind of in a way, we kind of need some some health right now, so if uh, if an inn would be available, yeah, that's definitely what I need right now. Ha <laughs> ha! I uh, just killed a man-eating tree. I kind of need a nap in order to compensate. Hello, good sir. Welcome. 24 gold! You know, in most RPGs, the, the rate for staying at inns increases over time. In this game, it pretty much stays the exact same, which I actually enjoy. It makes sense that they would all be the same rate. Why would, why would one town charge more for a bed in the middle of the night than, you know, another one just because it's further along in the game? That never made any sense to me. But okay, now that we're all back to full power, we ain't got no more of them status ailments going on. Everything's all around just better. We may now leave. Were these sticks here before? That's a little weird. Or maybe that's what uh, Nene shot down here to plant the tree. Who's to say? Either way, I certainly hope you guys are able to rebuild. You guys all seem very more than capable. 
you'd be surprised what you'd be you really genuinely would be surprised on just how much some hope and optimism will pretty much fix an entire situation good luck to all of you now we've got some serious work to do wait huh, huh? Uh, mm. that girl here i baked this it's just some sweets but i hope you like them is that so gee thanks I'm sorry about what I said before. It's like you said, once I saw how you all worked together to beat down that tree, that worked better for me than any crummy sermon. Good luck. I wish you all the best. Do you like you? God damn it, Maru! No. Would you shut up? No. <laughs> I would say... I respect him. Respect? Huh? <laughs> huh. Respect you, huh? What? <laughs> That'd be the first time anyone ever said that to you. What were you two talking about before I got there? Shoo, do you like her? Hey, I am warning you guys. Would you just <laughs> knock it off? <laughs> I'd listen to the guy. He's the only one with a shadow. He can knock all y'all blocks off. <laughs> and that right there is why I think Jiro and Kluke make the optimal couple, while Shu and, uh, Sahira over there. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who thinks that's just outrageously adorable? I mean, come on. That being said, I feel like I should point this out. This is actually kind of interesting. Normal medicine, 30 HP. Mega medicine. Mega medicine is 100 HP. Now, how about that cookie? We got Sah Sahila's cookie, 100 HP and 50 MP. She tossed together some baked goods that are more useful than most pharmaceuticals on the market. Girl, you should put that, you should like make a business out of that. Seriously, health restoring cookies? It's like the most delicious thing in the world, except it also brings you health instead of bad health. I would, if there's anything I would invest in, it would totally be that. Just a saying. Either way. Uh, just so you know, actually, once you, like, eat that cookie, you can also actually, like, at any time, go back into that town, and she'll give you more. She's totally down with giving you more cookies, which is all around just awesome. She's a good character. I like her. She had, she had some realistic problems, and she dealt with that. She got, she had to deal with them in a, you know, slightly unrealistic manner, but it still works out all the same. All right. Now, just because Shu has his shadow back doesn't exactly mean that we're in the clear now, and we should get into fights all willy-nilly. Yes, uh, we're relatively strong, all things considered. But at this current moment in time, it's still best to just sort of stay out of trouble the best you can. Also, this sounds like something straight out of The Last of Us. I never even played that game, and I know that soundtrack. That's just weird. Anyway, this game came out infinitely earlier than that. What's in the mighty treasure chest, I wonder? A grand emerald! Fantastic. Keep that away from Dr. Eggman. What is this thing? It's some kind of artifact. It looks really old. Can we get it to work? It doesn't look like it. The only thing I notice is it's missing a piece. All ancient technology is always missing a piece. Now we gotta just search the Netherlands and try and find that place. Also, I just realized I tried to I say I said Netherlands as like you know, like a bad place, like you know the Nether, like the dark the dark world and sentient screaming carrots. All right. But the Netherlands is actually a place, and from what I heard, it's not that bad. Okay, ignore the carrots and the whatever the hell those things are. <sighs> All right, the game pointed that it went out specifically, so I'm going to assume that something important is in there, and this stupid blobby Gengar ghost-like thing on my bobber. He is, he is cause he's, he's gonna keep us from being able to open that. So how about we use some um, all targets with like like stun? Don't I have like? Doesn't make any sense. I should have, like, I don't know, some sort of light-based magic attack. At least one, specifically for this sort of situation. Anyway, wow, Maru's actually able to deal out quite a bit of damage for not having a weapon. Not bad. How about you, Cloak? What can you do? 14! Well, it's certainly a whole lot better than what she was doing at the beginning of the game without a shadow, I guess. And also, apparently, devouring one's soul causes that to happen. Go figure. Okay, well, let's see. Is, do I have an item in here that can get rid of uh, any sort of, uh, whatchamacallit? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Possession? 
Do I have like an exorcist item in here? I can't say I know. What I do know is that I'm gonna throw this at him and hope that kills him. It did not. Unfortunate. Okay, well let's just, yeah. Okay, well this is not good. All right, and uh, Shu just punched himself. Why are you hitting yourself, Shu? That make uh, no sense. Uh. All right, just keep on throwing stuff at him and eventually something will happen. Yeah. Come on, you stupid flabby ghost thing. Wow, even under demonic possession, Shu is more than willing to jump in front of a f an attack for his friends. Go figure. And plus, he's mostly just attacking himself. Quite noble. Let's see, just keep on throwing things. Grand Emerald, save me! The Grand Emerald did not save me. And this is what I was talking about when I said you really shouldn't be trying to get into too many fights. This is the sort of thing that's gonna happen and you're not gonna wanna do that. Ghastly laugh, not good. Like she's gonna bust out the Gengar laugh. Oh, and he missed. Okay, and a bop punch to Maro. Not good, but dead ghost. Fantastic, okay. That took far more effort than I would have liked, but we won in the end, and I suppose that's all that truly counts. Okay. Now uh, let's open up what's inside this thingamaroll. Should be goodies. Flower shard. It will help us activate that thingamabob. As typically all weird objects we don't know the purpose of to typically do in this game. Crystal bracelet. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hang on. Accessorades. Accessoras. And uh, we'll get... We'll put the dog collar back on him because why not? Don't forget. No, 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 no. We went the crystal bracelet. Huge boosts for everything. I am more than okay with all that. Sentient plant life, never a good thing. Had quite enough of that for one lifetime. Thank you very much. Ignore the evil things. Nope, okay, I couldn't ignore him. Fantastic, well, at least I don't have to fight the sentient screaming carrot. That would be a problem. I do not wish to do that. Oh no, he sissy slapped me. What a jerk. Now you're dead. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, because you're dead. And dead people can't do anything, unless you're a skeleton. In which case, I guess you could hit me with a sword. But you're a plant, so I don't think you'll come back as a skeleton. And if you do, that'd be really weird. Alright, so just... That scared the heck out of me. It looks like the monsters are called out whenever we get near. Well, yeah, so what are we gonna do about it? Once it mimics grass, it's hard to distinguish. We just need to be careful. Oh, are you talking about the screaming carrot monster? Yeah, he's pretty weird. No sense dilly-dallying about it, though. We just gotta not get attacked by it. Alright, and... Just put this weird thing inside this other weird mechanized mabobber. Get some pretty blue lights and the like, and bada bing bada boom, it gets rid of the vines for some reason. Technology! It doesn't make sense, but my god is it useful! Alright, just open up this thing in a row. Is that goddamn Akira Torpo over there again? The fool is he even doing over there? Bro! Sir Brosephine! How did you even end up here? How do you keep ending up in places you shouldn't be able to get to? You, you almost gave me a heart attack. You shouldn't sneak up on me like that. You wouldn't believe what happened after the last time we met. After we parted, I went up to the trail when it branched off. I was shocked to see a bunch of frog-like creatures. So shocked, in fact, that I lost my footing and plunged into the river. It swept me right to the edge of this creepy forest. When I came in here to hide from something scary, the roots closed shut, you see. It was quite an experience when I think about it. Let's get down to business. Do you want to buy anything? Uh, no, I'm pretty good. I wonder what I'd find if I could pass through here. Maybe the Aurora Ruins? But it couldn't be that easy, now could it? Ah, well. See you later. I'm about to go teach a dragon to ride a ball. Uh, well. That's so weird. That's for sure. We will never understand the mysteries of Akira Toripo. All we can do is simply observe and progress. <laughs> Maru really wants magic back! Believe me, I know how you feel, Maru Maru. But even Shu doesn't really understand the reason his magic is fully returned to him. But Maru hates being protected all the time! <laughs> what? Remember what happened last time? Yeah, that stunk. Hey, Maru Maru! Hey, you need to breathe! Maru Maru? Maru almost died! 
hide! What should we do? I know we shouldn't rely so much on magic, but I must admit, now I honestly want the power. Yeah. But we shouldn't rush it. If Shu could do it, we can probably do it too. We can't give up. We need to believe. <laughs> All things considered, Mario got respectively close. <laughs> Just through sheer force of will, he almost got his power back. If he didn't need lungs or air, he might have actually pulled it off. Go figure. Alright, sentient seed monster, ain't having none of that. Flawless emerald, thank you, goodbye sir. Ain't having none of that. There's a whole bunch of twists and paths and whirly diggers up in this place, so... You, really, you can go just about any path and you'll end up where you need to go. And luckily, the uh, areas aren't usually blocked off by too many enemies, so you can just walk right past them if you want to. Mirror necklace, I will gladly accept that, thank you very much. Go to this, go down to the Ancient Warrior's Necklace, don't need that no more. Has dark resistant powers and reflects magic spells. You better believe I will wear the ever loving hell out of that. Especially considering that Shu will be able to jump in front of most attacks. He'll just reflect everything back at them. That is the type of thing you want to do. Alright, ignore that weird ghost dog thing. This guy, okay, hi. I'm not entirely sure why he's trying to pick a fight. Even if we didn't have our, even if none of us had our shadows anymore, it would still be a ridiculously easy to kill monster. It's probably one of the weakest and most pathetic out of all of them. Unless they have the fire or ice elemental thing going on for them. Yeah, see, look, he just ran away. Why'd you initiate the attack if you were just going to run away in fear? I mean, come on, man. I didn't want to fight. You tackled me. All right, let's see if I can figure out where on earth I was even going. All right, that appears to be a zombie monkey. Ain't having that. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, and there we go. That certainly looks like something useful. We really gonna have to fight another stupid ghastly ghost monster. Very well, hopefully we'll be able to not get Shu possessed this time so the whole thing can probably go a bit faster. That'd be nice. Actually, upon retrospect, I think I actually... Oh, here's the zombie and ghost status ailments. Yep, apparently I totally had those and I just didn't ever use them. Go me! All right, well, quick bibbity bap ba boom of the face. We'll just keep wailing on him, and eventually he'll fall over dead. I'd also like to point out the fact that Shu has maximum health right now at 999. That's kind of amazing. Go, Shu. Oh, he's charging his powers. Yup, he's slapping his thighs. He's doing his thing. He ain't got no nose. And there we go. And he done took my magics. However, I am not possessed, and you are dead. That's just how this, that's how this whole exchange is just going to play out. I'm sorry. That's just how things have to be. Ah, <sighs> fantasmo. All right, just get a very, very meager amount of of XPs and SPs. Grab a sacred tree shard. That's pretty awesome. I'm sure that'll come in handy at some point, no doubt. Screaming carrot monster. Okay, not having that. Not having that. Really would rather. I could, I could definitely live without all of the screamers. That would be fantastic. I don't know who invented those, but I'm gonna need them to just go die in a fire, cause that is messed up, brah. Alright, open up this thing, and I think I, that's a ledge I can, like, fall down, but I can't ever go back up. So, ain't having that. So what we need to do is try and find our way around this cacomanian fangled place. Weird sentient seed monsters and skellymans. Skellymans running around. You don't own this place. You just live here. I mean, come on, you're, a, you're like a deadbeat. You're like one of those, uh, whatchamacallsits. I don't even know, uh... Uh... Dead weight, uh, that's not it. There's a word I'm trying to think of. Freeloader! That's the word I was thinking of. Okay, I had to really stop and think for a second there. Yeesh! Freeloader. That was what I was looking for. Oh, hey, look! Thanks to the mighty moon lasers, we're able to open these things up now. And bada boom! Just like that. We actually summoned the moon lasers' power just to open up this one treasure chest. And it gave us stone shoes. Well, how about that? Okay, well, I guess we'll just. Maru's already got a pair. Although he can't use them right now. He's stuck with the stupid collar thing. Actually, nobody can use them right now. I guess I could give it to Shu. But he wouldn't benefit from the HP boost. He would just he would just benefit from not being able to be petrified. Which, upon retrospect, probably would be extraordinarily useful. I'll probably go ahead and just equip them to Shu, at least for the time being. Maybe I'll switch them up later. Can't say I know. We'll find out. As is, it's always good to have our guardian not be affected by these sorts of things. 
As I try to find my friggin' way out of this place, it is, it's like a zombie maze. A maze full of zombies. It's like that one, it's like how I had met, uh, okay, you know that, I was gonna say, I was gonna reference Zombie Ate My my Neighbors, the Super Nintendo game, but for some reason I almost said that How I Met Your Mother game, which would have been vastly different. Also, probably not anywhere near as fun. Either way, there we go. We actually found the thing to operate this thing before we even managed to stumble upon the machine that we, need we needed it. Go figure. All right, open up these treasury chests, and everything shall come out fantastically. Part of an internal engine, spiffy diffy, a crystal ring. Okay, well, don't mind me. I'm just going to slip that one thing on there. Got to give Shu the best possible stuff I can find. Crystal ring. Look at them stat boosts. Such good boosts. All right, let's get the hell out of this place. I have had quite enough of doom and gloom for quite the while. I feel a cool draft. We must be near an exit or something. The forest. Morrow had enough. If we're near an exit, let's hurry up and find it. All right, dead ahead. We shall find our way out. And Viola, we have finally gotten the Evil of Hell out of there. Also, you might be wondering, okay, well now where the friggin' hell do we even go? I mean, like, what is even our option? We don't have, three of us don't have shadows. We don't know where Nene is or where he could be. Where on earth are we even supposed to go? Well, in this current situation, just follow the trail. You'd wonder how a weird trail like this would even exist. You'd think the snowfall would cover it up. But uh, luckily for us, it exists and we shall now make full use of it because it will lead us exactly where we need to go in order to progress the story. So ain't that just a big old pile of convenience, and I see a treasury chest over there. I'd like to open it, please. I would like to open the treasure chest and get whatever's inside of it. Broken internal engine. Fantastic. Okay. Ah, could use more accessories. My, my characters need more of those. The more the better. Okay, suddenly something out of Aladdin. Ain't having it. <laughs> Seriously, not until we get all of our shadows back. Then I'll be more than happy to engage you in all the fights you want, miscellaneous monster things. Also, I saw a treasure chest over here, and while I'm pretty sure nothing useful is actually over here, I have to go and check. A polar lazy bear! Man, there are a lot of different breeds of those things. Alright, we got a metal. I suppose that's something. Not much, but it's something. And, okay, I can't go through those trees. That's weird. Open this thing up. Open something useful. Prismatic crystal. Nope. Okay, so that was a waste of time. Awesome. Sigh. Why does loot have to be so often so useful? And apparently glacier turtles. Wow, there are a lot of monsters just running around here. A haunting pelican. Okay, pretty sure pelicans have wings and don't wear hoods, like some sort of weird fairy tale, but I guess he's just got his own individual unique sense of style over there. Can't hate him for that. Now, right now, what I'm hoping is that I'm going the right way and that I didn't end up turning around. Nope, I'm going the right way. You might think that the paths are branching off here. They are in fact not. If you go the other path, it just fades away into this one, so. Ain't getting lost. Also another one of those stupid pig mole things. So many recolors. Although considered, considering this is an RPG, there's actually a fair, a fair amount of completely unique enemies. And a brand new town. I wonder what untold horrors are, befold, are, be are, are, are unfolding in this place. Whoop, suddenly bear. Okay, a bear showed up out of nowhere. Luckily I did not have to fight him. 